We're now going to cover multiplication and division of rational expressions. And multiplication, um, just like our other operations with rational expressions, they're very similar to what we did with rational numbers or your fractions. So if I want to multiply or divide a fraction, for example, if I have 12... Um, 30 fifths times 49 sixtieths. I want to know what that answer is. I can multiply the numerators together and then multiply the denominators together. And when I get all done, I would have to simplify. Well, if I teach you, if I taught you fractions in middle school, what I would have told you to do is to simplify before you multiply because it's a lot easier to simplify smaller numbers than it is to simplify the larger numbers. So 12, that is 2 times 2 times 3. 35 is 5 times 7. 49 is 7 times 7. 60 is 6 times 10 which is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. There's my 6 and there's my 10. And I want to simplify what I can simplify before I actually do the multiplication. So that 7 can cancel with that 7. That 2, that 2, and that 3 can cancel with that 2, that 2, and that 3. And my final answer would be 7 over 5 times 5, which is 25. Okay? So we are going to be doing this exact same process, but we're going to be doing it with um, rational expressions, which are a polynomial over a polynomial. So our step one is going to be factor. Then we're going to cancel. And then we're going to rewrite our final answer. Now, for the polynomials, I do not mind, in most cases, if your final answer looks something similar to what I have there. Because it's what I have left over, the 7 over the 5 times 5. Okay, you're not, um, in most cases, you want to leave it in factor form because that's going to be the most useful for you to graph it or answer questions about the resulting expression. So let's get to some examples of these. We're going to do 2x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared plus 4x minus 5 multiplied by x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x over 4x squared minus 6x. So the first thing that I did here was factor those. So the first thing I want to do is factor these. Okay. In the numerator, the only way I'm going to get a 2 by multiplication is one of the numbers has to be a 2, the other one has to be a 1. So I know one of these has to be a 2x, and the other one has to be an x. And then what I try to think about, what are my factors of 6 so that when I multiply together, I'm going to get a positive 1? Well, my factors of 6 are either 6 and 1 or 2 and 3. Well, let's see. If I take a 2 times the 2, that gives me 4. And then the negative 3 times the x gives me 4 minus 3, which would be the 1. So that's the factors of the numerator. Factors of the denominator, two numbers that multiply to negative 5 that add to 4 would be x plus 5 times x minus 1 multiplied by, um, I'm going to do this two steps. First thing I want to do is pull out the common factor of x. That leaves me with x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then I need to factor this resulting quadratic. Two numbers that multiply to 2 that add to negative 3 would be negative 1 and negative 2. So that would be x minus 1, x minus 2. 
Next, I need to pull out the greatest common factor between 4x squared and negative 6x, and that would be a, a 2, and the lowest power of the variable that appears in every term, which would be x to the first. So I'm going to pull out a 2x. I do the division. 4x squared divided by 2x is 2x. Negative 6x divided by 2x would be minus 3. So I've done this setup. And my next thing I did with the fraction is I canceled out common factors. So I want to cancel out my common factors. I have a 2x plus 3. I have an x minus 1. And I have an x. And remember, when I'm canceling these out, they are 1s. Anything that I cancel out becomes a 1. My final answer is what is left in the numerator? x plus 2 times x minus 2. over what is left in the denominator. I have a 2 times x plus 5. And from the video on simplifying rational expressions, I told you you need to take into account anything that you crossed off in the denominator. Well, I crossed off an x. So when is x 0? When x is 0. I crossed off an x minus 1. When is that 0? When x is 1. And I crossed off a 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 is 0 when x is 3 halves. And that, so a 0, a 1, and a 3 halves I need to take into account. So these are just like the simplification problems, except you're going to have to factor up to four different polynomials before you actually do the simplification. Next thing is a reminder for division. Division of fractions is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal of the second one. So we're going to do the exact same thing with our rational expressions when we divide them. We're going to take the second one, we're going to reciprocate it, and then we are going to multiply. So an example of division. All right, next. And when I write it down with the second one uh, flipped over or reciprocated, I factor it at that time. Okay, and you're going to see that in my example. So I want to do x cubed minus one over x squared minus one divided by x squared plus x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x plus 1. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to rewrite it in factored form, but when I rewrite this right-hand side, I'm going to flip it over and write it in factored form. Difference of cubes pattern. Well, it was the cube root of the first cube root of the last, first term squared, the product, last term squared, copy the sign, change it, always positive. Difference of square pattern, square root of the first plus square root of the last times square root of the first minus square root of the last. Now I'm going to flip this one over. So I need two numbers that multiply to 1 that add to 2. That would be 1 and 1. So I have x plus 1 times x plus 1 over two numbers that multiply to 1 that add to 1. There aren't any. But you should notice that this term, this x squared plus x plus 1, is identical to this. We knew when we factor difference of cubes that that part's never factorable. And you're going to see that we're going to... Um, get rid of that. And it's never factorable because it has no real solutions. So now we want to cancel what we can cancel. I can cancel an x minus 1. I can cancel the x squared plus x plus 1. And I can cancel one of the x plus 1s. 
And now I want to write my final answer. My final answer is x plus 1. However, I need to take into account what was in the denominator of my original fractions that I ended up crossing off. Well, what makes this 0 were these two terms that I crossed off. Okay, My answer is x plus 1 provided x is not equal to negative 1. x is not equal to 1. Okay, so I ended up crossing off um, those two things. So my final answer for simplified form of this multi division problem would be x plus 1, provided that x is not equal to negative 1 or 1. Okay, I only gave you two examples. Okay, the hardest part for multiplying, dividing, adding and subtracting, and simplifying rational expressions is your ability to follow, factor these polynomial expressions. Again, if you need help factoring polynomial expressions, go back to the videos that were already assigned, watch them again, and do some extra practice problems. Okay, this is the, the hardest part of this is being able to factor these polynomials. Once you can factor them, um, the work is fairly straightforward. You just cancel out like terms.